What's going on, everybody? What's going on, y'all? SK Sports Cards here. Doing my latest video. This is on the New York Yankees. I'm going through some of my uh, better New York Yankees cards that I have. These are all recent ones, so I'm not going to be digging out any of my old school ones, but I just wanted to give you a quick run through. We we'll start out with the Judge and Judge. This is um, all these cards I either bought online or I bought as singles. Very few of them I bought in packs. That's just how I roll. But I uh, got quite a few Aaron Judge rookie cards. Here's one right here Allen and Ginter. This is one of the old school throwback kind of classic designs that Topps puts out. Bought this one at a card store. This is the um, 2017 rookie card for the 1987 throwback, throwback series they did. 30th anniversary. It looks like the 1987 cards. Very retro. Another Aaron Judge rookie. This is Topps Finest. A little bit of glare there, but Topps Finest isn't one that I typically pay much attention to, but they are very good quality cards. Picked that one up at a store. Top Stadium Club, not my favorite. In my opinion, um, I think Top should really wind down Stadium Club. I think Tops has way too many brands. There's just too many to count, and not even including Bowman. Um, stadium Club is kind of a... To me, when I think of Stadium Club, I think of the early 90s with the saturation in the market, overproduction. It's kind of something that most collectors like myself who are a bit older and remember those days would like to forget. Um, so getting back into the hobby, I'm not a big Stadium Club fan. Please, Tops, just ditch it. you got way too many brands. You guys are like General Motors when they decided to get rid of Saturn and Oldsmobile and Pontiac. You just have way too many. Like They should keep it simple. But anyways, these are my um, Aaron Judge Top Stadium Club cards. One has a silver um, logo, the other one has a gold logo. And I'm not a big Stadium Club aficionado, but maybe some of you can tell me what that means. I'm assuming gold's better than silver. And there he is standing with his hand on his heart. Hint, hint, NFL. I'm a sucker for Don Russ and Panini. I know they're not licensed products, but I really kind of fell for this design. Um, okay, so the one says $30 in the corner. Before you call me an idiot, I did not pay $30 for that card. I and then I paid $30 for this card and a couple others that were all kind of thrown in at my local card store. The guy just wanted 30 bucks for it, and I wasn't willing to pay it. Don Ross Optic Rated Rookies Aaron Judge. This one, the funny thing is, I ended up buying a blaster pack of Donruss, and I pulled this one out. As well as a um, pink parallel rated rookie of Cody Bellinger. Weird, eh? So that's it with Aaron Judge. Now let's flash forward a little bit into the future of the Yankees. I've been reading a lot about this Clint Frazier. Um, from what I hear about Clint, he has amazing bat speed, uh, muscular forearms, drive the ball through the zone. Uh, critics are saying that he just doesn't really have what it takes to be a superstar, but his bat speed is very encouraging, and the Yankees might use him as a trade chip. As a Tigers fan, um, I'm a little pissed off because we were going to trade Michael Fulmer a year ago, and the Yankees offered Clint Frazier, as well as a bunch of other guys, and we said no because we wanted, well, we wanted this dude right here. And the Yankees said, no, you can't have him. Well, obviously. <laughs> so now Michael Fulmer is out for the year again with surgery. We could have had Clint Frazier, but we don't. Anyways, that's a side note. These are 1983 designed cards. Topps does this every year. They pick an old pack, like an old set from yesteryear, and they do reproductions. I have two of them. Very glittery and shiny. Still got the 1983 style on the back. This is Clint Frazier's Bowman AFL card, Arizona Fall League. And this is when he was with the Indians. So a little bit different. That's right. Remember, the Yankees don't develop players. They buy them. And here is just a regular Bowman, not Chrome, but Bowman rookie card. And yes, I paid buck fifty. Bought this at a card store. I think I'm done buying Clint Frazier stuff, though. I have too much. 
Miguel Andujar. This is also one of the 83 cards. Rookie. Eight, well, 1983 retro design. Uh, very talented young fella. $8. No, I paid about half that price. It was a 50% off sale. So I paid $4 for it. So all you Yankees fans are there is Miguel Andujar. Another exciting guy to watch. Stacked. Boom. Now we move on to Didi Gregorius. Now, he came up as a rookie with Arizona. Because remember, the Yankees don't develop. They buy. So they stole this guy from Arizona. He's paired up on this 2013 um, uh, Topps card with Mike Redmond. Todd Redmond, sorry. Uh, Topps Heritage. Heritage, again, nice classy design, kind of like Alan Ginter. Alan and Ginter has that same kind of old-school throwback look. This is more of like a 1960s look when they used to pair uh, players up together. A uh, real nice card. I pulled this one out of a um, uh, fat pack at Walmart. I like this one better, though. This is a 2013 Bowman Chrome Didi Gregorius. Rookie card. Look at the stance there. I love watching this guy play baseball. It's a lot of fun. Very, very talented. Let's move on again. He's one of my recent acquisitions. Luis Severino, another one of my favorite guys to watch right now. This is Don Ross Signature um, autographed card. I paid um, $18 for this at a card store. They actually had two of these. One had a dented corner. The other one didn't. Um, I pointed that out. They didn't even realize it, but I think they were just playing people for fools, hoping they wouldn't notice. When you go to buy a card at a store, guys, bring a magnifying glass and really look at the corners. Look at the edges. This one, I haven't got it graded, obviously, but it looks pretty flawless. The other one did not. And look at his signature. You can tell that Luis really practiced his uh, signature there, and he was coming up. This is RC in the corner, so it is a rookie card. Top's gold label. I detest this series. I think gold labels just crap, and I don't even know if they still make them. Um, 2016, another Severino rookie. It's got two poses on there. This is cool. This was Top's opening day. Um, I avoid opening day like the plague. Um, I don't go and buy the blasters anymore, but this one's got like a blue refractor kind of look to it, which is why I encased it. It's a rookie card. Um, landscape design it's really cool looking, I got a few others of these but I encased the Severino because I think he's the real deal let's move on again we got another young gun here Glabel Torres this is a rookie card, Tops, rookie debut they put this one out beautiful Yankee Stadium in the background this is a Donruss optic says $8. I paid half price for that. I paid $4, just in case you're wondering. This is the guy that the Tigers wanted badly for Falmer. And the Yankees wisely said no. You know. And these ones, I actually bought, I have 10 of these in a pack. These are Bowman Chromes. Not his first. Doesn't say first in the corner, but these are some Bowman Chrome Glaber Torres. I bought them online and I got 10 in this little pack. Um, I do that quite a bit. I like to buy multiple cards. Alright, a couple of interesting stuff to finish with. Okay, Eric Chavez, I know he's out of baseball. He spent a lot of years with the A's, but in, this was 2013, Tops. He was with the Yankees. These were Tops' big chase for the year with these Army camo cards they came out with. So this was the only camo that I got. I don't know if any of you guys remember 2013, but that was the year of the camo um, parallels. So I encased that one. Melky Cabrera rookie card. Um, don't believe he's with the Yankees anymore. I could be wrong. But it's a Shimmer Emerald Refractor. And everybody's favorite ladies man. Alex Rodriguez. Um, another Emerald Refractor. This was to record his... This was to commemorate his 3000th hit. 2013 tops. I mean, legendary athlete. Legendary card. Look at this. Green Emerald, 2013 Tops, A Rod. Booyah! So that concludes my notable Yankees collection that I want to show you. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am looking forward to doing some openings in the future. I'm going to start ponying up and buying some cards instead of just showing off stuff that I already bought. But uh, thanks for checking it out, guys. All right, keep collecting and uh, keep it real.